seven to graduation, some good leaders as well. Uh, what are your thoughts on the guys that you have coming back? I love the guys we have. You know, we got a lot of experience last year with, uh, you know, you're talking about we lost some very good players. Brandon Bear, Kenny Rose, Zach Clark. If I miss somebody, I apologize. But those three guys were really good for us. Not only were they good players, they were good leaders. But we did play like Wade Kilikipi, uh Taylor Hart, uh, Ricky Humuli. You know, a lot of guys got some reps last year. Brandon Hanna, uh, Deion Jordan. So we got a lot of reps. So even though they're new faces, they've played some football. And, and I know that with their with their coaching and the type of kid that they are, their work ethic, that we, I believe will be fine. A lot of depth at linebacker last year. Uh, how do you feel about the depth right now? At well, we've lost a little of that depth, uh, obviously, because when you lose a guy like Casey and Spencer, who have been there a long time, that's a lot of not only that's a lot of experience as well as good football players. Uh, we're a little thin for the spring, but we got four young linebackers coming in uh, in the fall. Uh, they'll probably be lost, but overall, I think they'll work it out. And it, you know, we're going to have good athletic linebackers. But right now, yeah, we're a little thin as far as scholarship guys at linebacker. The guys that you do have back got plenty of experience because you had that rotation. In. Talk about the importance of that. Well, obviously, as I mentioned earlier, with the experience that we got playing like 23 to 25 guys every game last year. <coughs> Excuse me. Our D linemen, even though if they weren't a starter, they've played a lot of football. Our linebackers, even if they weren't a starter, they play a lot of football. And the same with the back end. So uh, we might be a little thinner right now than we were last year. But hopefully some of those younger guys will grow up and uh, we can get to where we were last year with, with our depth and being able to play a lot of guys so we can play fast and hard. Do you see emerging as Well, it's a little early to tell, but I think Michael Clay has shown himself to be a good leader. I see John Boyette stepping up as a leader. Uh, I see that uh, Terrell Turner, even though he's not practicing right now, is a good leader for us. Those are four to come to my mind right now, but uh, we'll have some guys, to Josh Cadu, Bosico Lacumbo. We have a guy at each position that knows what's going on and knows how to keep us in, in line, so I'm not worried about that. You know, right now it's two days of spring. We've put in 1,000 things. They've put in 1,000 things, and the combination of that is just a lot of stuff. So uh, we're flying around playing hard, so I like that.